the number one concern was her. And it has been this whole time. It really hasn't been, how is it gonna, as a mother, that's your number one. Like, how could, like, there's a 50% chance she's gonna have this. Neurofibromatosis is a genetic disorder in which tumors basically grow on your nerves. They can grow anywhere in your body. Like in our family, you can have tumors in your spine. My family has a strong history of neurofibromatosis type 2. My grandmother on my father's side has it, and her sisters and brothers also had it. I was diagnosed with neurofibromatosis type 2 when I was a junior in college. In time, when Alex found out she had it, she was pregnant with Mabel. So it was, you have it, let's focus on this new life that you're bringing in. And then when Mabel's here, then we can't talk about it. People will usually have, will start to go deaf at some point in their life if, as the tumors grow and press on those nerves. It continues, it takes and takes and takes from you. There is no cure. We were going back and forth about having me doing the genetic blood test. At first, when she was born, we were against it. We weren't going to do it. We had made, we wanted her to just have her stress-free childhood, and that was that. It was an easy decision for us. But as time went on, and we went to her pediatrician, and went, we did one round of appointments, and we said, this is so, it was so stressful for us to go and just kind of wait to see if anything popped up. We said she could not even have this disorder and we're doing this for nothing. And we're putting her through these appointments and all this stuff and she could not have it. We decided that this was the best thing for us was to have her tested and to figure out whether or not she did or she did not have the disorder. And unfortunately, she does have it. Devastating, it's heartbreaking. Um, and to know that I passed it on, it's, de it's devastating. It's a heartbreaking, but I mean, it's not, it's not the end of the world. She's a healthy, happy, she's intelligent, she's fun-loving, there's nothing. I went, I don't know, it was pretty awful. <laughs> now we know, and now we can be proactive, and like I said, we can monitor her. You can't fight something that you have locked up in a closet, chained. I mean, we had to know. So, if anything, I focus on the positive, that we all will rally around each other and we'll do whatever we have to do as a family. And you just want your kids to have a stress-free childhood and not have to worry about it, but if it's something that you can do preventative care and you can, it'll help them in the future, I mean, you should do it. I just, I mean, we did it and it, for us, it was, I think, the best decision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if you put the train on the track,